In this clip, I'm going to show you how to connect up your analog cables into your high definition television set and also into an HD DVD player. All right, and this is the back of our high definition television. And right here is where I want to focus because I'm going to put the coax line in. So if I'm just running a line from a set top bunny ear kind of tuner or from my cable box, what I'm going to do is look for this kind of screw thread nozzle here. I'm going to simply plug it in, screw it in, and I'm ready to watch TV. Now we want to run composite lines, that's the RCA lines, the yellow, red, and white, uh, out of our player. So we're looking at the back of the player and we're looking for video output. There's our yellow line. This whole bank right here is the composite line outs. So you'll see video output, analog audio output, and that's right here. So we're going to run the yellow into the yellow, that's the video line. We're going to run white to the white the red to the red, that's left channel and right channel. So video, left channel, and right channel. And now we're going to go up to the TV and plug it in there. So all I need to do is find my video input. If I'm running it out of my DVD player. And then my audio input, the white, goes into the white. The red goes into the red. And again, that yellow went into the yellow. And I'm ready to watch TV. Now let's connect up our component cables. This is the cable that separates the red, green, and blue channels out of the player. So we're looking at the back of the player. So I'm going to simply connect the blue into the blue, the green into the green, and the red into the red, and that's going to separate my color channels. You don't necessarily have to use color-coded cables. It's easier, but any RCA cable will work. Again, this is just video, and right here it says component video output. This is video only, so you also need audio. So we're going to use our red and white audio cables, the RCA cables. We're going to plug the white into the left channel. Again, any RCA cable will work. We're going to plug the red into the red channel. And now we're going to go up to the TV and plug them in there. All right, now we're going to connect up our component line. The component line coming out of the DVD player, again, separates the red, green, and blue. And I'm going to look for component input. And there's the red, the blue, and the green. I'm just going to simply match my green cable that came out of my green uh, port on the back of my DVD player. And I'm going to put the blue into the blue that also goes into the back of my DVD player, the red into the red. Now, you don't want to confuse this red video input with the red audio input. And again, this is just video. So now we need to run the audio. So we're going to take our RCA cables, the red and the white cables. We're going to go over here to the audio. Underneath it says audio. I'm going to plug in the red. And then we're going to plug in the white. Now we've got to get power to this. So we're going to look for our ACN. We're going to take the power cable that came in the box with our player, plug it in, plug it into an outlet, and we're ready to go. And of course, on the back of every monitor and sometimes on the side, you'll notice this little guy down here. This is simply your power. You want to make sure that you plug your power cable in. Then you can turn your monitor on, and all is good. 